Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to taste uh, three different uh, waters, of, all from the rocky area, um, and see... All if, from the rocky mountain area. Oh yeah, rocky mountain area, and see if they are different and mm. uh, how they would affect the tea. Yeah. Yeah, if this is your first time stumble across our channel, hello, I'm Jen from Gen Tea. And I'm Phil, and at Gen Tea, we specialize in high quality tasting grade Chinese tea and all the things that, that surround it. So if that seems to be your jam, be sure to smash the thumbs up and click subscribe and the notify bell so you know whenever we, uh, show a uh, whenever we shoot a video like this or go live. <laughs> so as Jen mentioned, we have three waters that we're tasting today um, from different sources. One of them we know for sure because where it comes from. Hat. <laughs> it's ball. not ethos water. This is not purchased in a store. We didn't have we ran out of containers mm. So we just reused a, an empty water bottle and we got this one from the um, the Athabasca glacier or the um, Good lord. Anyway from um, Jasper <laughs> from yeah. Jasper Yeah, like kind of tucked yeah. in between Jasper and Banff on the uh, on that highway there. Anyway, check the map that we're gonna throw up mm. <laughs> Interesting water, right? Let's so this water is very interesting, which when we collected, that was the start of uh, the, the forest fire affecting the region. Mm -hmm. So I remember oh, when we first collected, it was really like a smoky. Yeah, uh, it had a really pronounced smoky aroma. No, it's not. It seems to have subsided. Mm. That water, it's uh, glacier water around uh, not overly fast, it's uh, like a flowing water and uh, on the glacier. So uh, I don't think he touched any like rocks or mm -hmm. any At least uh, not recently. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, so that's that one. And these two, uh, you know, we didn't label well. We didn't do a good job labeling. <laughs> I think... We know uh, one of them is from uh, O'Hara. Lake O'Hara. Lake O'Hara, where, uh, you know, the, in the close to the top, and one of them is from Bow Glacier, the beginning. Bow Glacier Falls. Falls. Right at the Bow Glacier, right just after the Bow Glacier Falls, we collected this water. I think this one is the Lake O'Hara mountaintop water. And, right. um, and a little bit of a whitish, like a particles at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Not much aroma. And this one's interesting because I think it's just snow melt. I don't think it's glacial. And you think I, this is a bow glacier? I think this is Lake O'Hara. Uh, O'Hara. So I, so I think it's just snow melt and okay. not glacier water. And I don't think it traveled far over rocks. Um, and it wasn't a rushing stream. It was a, literally a trickle at the top of the mountain. Hmm. This one has a mini like a rockish thing. In it. None of those has snow right now. Like a mm, yeah, a little sediment at the bottom of this, which kind of corroborates my story, right? Because the oh. Bow River Glacier was a wildly fast, like if I fell in, not yeah, a good Yeah, it was really not rushing. A good day for it's me. almost like a, a kicking horse kind of a kicking mm. horse river, that the speed is really yeah, rushing. really fast. Yeah. Uh, and this one was just flowing pretty lovely. Based on my memory at that time, I really loved the water from O'Hara. I don't mm -hmm. know after a while and compared to all the rest, how, we'll see how they goes. were. Do you think we need to filter it? If it smells good, but water, you cannot just smell and say it's safe. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll let you know. Hopefully, we'll be around for more videos after we that. shoot this one. <laughs> so to help us decide if we want to filter it or not, we... we we'll we do a quick taste just, test. Yeah, Yeah, just the uh, Yeah, I always want to do water. a little taste test raw too. I don't want to... Try start first. Let's start with Lake O'Hara, closer okay, to you. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I think I'm gonna make a mess. Tricky pour. Yeah. Oh, oh great job, great. ace. That is pretty good for that. Mmm. Looks it's clear. It's water. You know it's not tap water. Tap water doesn't taste like this. Okay, I'm moving on to the next one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. 
So if you've ever played with water before and had fun with water, like first I recommend it. It's kind of neat to do to see the impact on the tea. It's really um, probably a little more profound than you might have thought. And, uh, but this will be interesting. I've never done this with different uh, mountain waters. We've done it with spring water before. Looks pretty clear. We're just sharing cups today. Mm. Yeah. Did you do a little side by side? Mm. Try it. Okay. I was, is, is there a mini difference? I was going to say. So my first, <laughs> my first instinct was there was no difference after I sipped the second one. But when I went immediately back, there's a slight difference. Something a little bit less harsh. I think it is less minerally the first one, but it's subtle. It's really subtle. I don't know what it is, but when I have the second one, I'm like, mm, I need to go back because I feel like there's big a difference on difference. this one. Big difference. Mm. Oh really? Oh yeah. You can taste the smoke. It doesn't smell like smoke anymore, but you can taste that ashy quality in this water, 100%. Did you get the ashy quality out of this? No. Come back to that, come back to that. I'm sure you'll taste it. I poisoned her now, I gave her the idea. I really, I really felt that. Huh, I wouldn't, I don't know. I didn't taste much of ashy. Just for me, I feel this one tastes closest to tap water. Hmm, interesting. I'm excited to boil these and make some tea with them and see how that works out. Hmm. Do you think we need to filter? I don't think so. I don't, don't, so. I don't, I don't, don't want to filter. And them. we're boiling it. Yeah, yeah. We're boiling it. It'll be fine. Mm, it we'll will be, be fine. fine. We'll be around for many <laughs> more videos. Hopefully. Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited and a little bit nervous. I don't know. So to make, we didn't want to go to overly like uh, scientific and mm. uh, uh, oh, comparison like uh, with every measurement uh, down to the dot. Yeah, we're not sending this water off to the lab. Yeah, so we're just going to have a one at a time, enjoy it. and uh, But we choose one of the most familiar teas right. that we really know the baseline of this tea. Yeah. You know, we brew that at home many One of my times. faves. Yes. Shui Xian. Shui Xian. Mm -hmm. and so I'm pretty excited to try that. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how this works. With this water. I'm really curious about how these render with the various waters. Oh, and the other thing we're, we decided not to do to keep things simple, again, not overly scientific, is we're going to do a cereal side by side, which means we'll do them one right after the other, mm. um, rather than try to get three kettles and just have too much to coordinate. We're just yeah. going to do them one after the other, but we'll, uh, we'll keep everything in mind as we well, taste. Well, as a brewer, right away, I know it's not my tab water. The water texture is different. Really? Yeah. That's so interesting. You can see that right away. You see how the, the water come out of the drips and the stuff? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So for those of you who that sounds a little bit incredible, it <laughs> is something, so I used to think this is insane that you can notice the water texture, but mm -hmm. the more I've been working with tea, I now can see the difference between pouring boiling water and pouring cold water. Yeah. Those of you familiar... More, just getting familiar with yeah. water, nothing just magical. You, you do something many, many times, you just start to notice. Yeah. Like you were... Oh, that Shui Xian. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. Oh, multi minerally. Sweet. Mm. Sweet, but dark chocolate, you know, like it has all those great, uh, all those great rock tea notes. Oh boy. Also very hot. <laughs> we, mm. Freshly boiled water as we're supposed to. And what water is this? This is the one I think is Lake O'Hara. Oh, O'Hara. And okay. I was about to let people know. So for those of you who are tea lovers and campers and maybe know that when you get, you know, wild water, you're supposed to boil it for a minute. Uh, we didn't. 
uh, because as tea lovers, it's also a great way to wreck your water. So we just boiled it and make like, sure there's a steam shooting out, yeah. like a full yeah, boil. Yeah, it got to a full, full boil, mm. but we didn't let that rock and roll for a mm. minute because it's not great for the tea. <laughs> right. right? Fashion before safety, folks. Fashion before safety. Would you like to let the steam run for a bit, like just a 10, 15 <laughs> seconds rather than a full minute? Yeah, mm. that's right. I like to see the kettle shake a little bit, which tells me mm. it's really rolling. This is really smooth, caramely. You're right, it has a nice sweetness. I found it just slightly sweeter than what I remember. Mm -hmm. Overall, I would say this water is a great enhancement for this tea. I like what it's doing for the Shui Xian. Mm. Wanna... Mm. I don't know if I'm like on the enhancement or anything, but uh, when I pour it out, I see that mineral, that texture, that a little bit more uh, uh, soupy or uh, mm. the velocity, like like viscosity. Viscosity, sorry. Uh, I had my worry because usually the overall, mm. you know, if the water is too mineral, I found it could mute the tea, the mm. aroma and the taste. Uh, for oolong, especially this time, could be muted, but it didn't do that. So right? I'm happy to find yeah. that. Yeah. And find out it's not. Yeah, I really felt the tea was pretty much shiny. Like uh, yeah, it had yeah. all the elements I expected. Um, the familiar mouthfeel. Like you said, the sweetness was a little bit um, bumped. I feel bumped up a little mm. bit, which I'm a okay with. <laughs> really enjoying this. Second infusion. I think we might do maybe do three. Each? Three infusion. Let's yeah, three moving each. to the next one. Here we go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Simultaneous. Mm. The rocky lack of a word. I'm trying to. I'm just breathing out over right. it, and the mineral, the mineral, the mineral elements are really um, seem to be more present on the second infusion. Oh, this is really lovely. What I was searching mm. for is oh, words that's... to describe. Like I still mm. have that sweet, but that sweet has changed a bit yeah. for me. Like uh, the first infusion when I tasted it, it was like, okay, sweet. The second it's one when more I floaty. smell, it's... and it has more, like it combined with that grains, this, sweet more. Yeah, and this is the graininess, the grainy side's right? all over this. Mm. I don't know, yeah, that's really nice. Mm. And the creamy is uh, a little bit elevated. Mm. Yeah, that's a good the point. Creamy the creaminess, the, the texture is really nice. Mm. Yeah, this is really nice. Oh, this is really nice uh, water. like. Yeah, the aromas don't seem to be muted at all. Mm -hmm. When I breathe out over this tea, I'm getting mm -hmm. all of those grains and mineral, mm -hmm. um, dark chocolate, just uh, just a great, and they're they're nicely combined on the second infusion. They're really, yeah. um, the sweetness was a little bit more popping on the first infusion. Now it's really kind of, uh, it's all just kind of locked together now. Yeah. Oh, wow, I really like that. Now I remember why I love this water so much when I was there. Because it really adds the volume to the tea texture, mm. but it didn't sacrifice the aroma, the taste. It's yeah, not yeah. overly, uh, you know, sometimes you could have a water too heavy, too mineral, then mm -hmm. everything and becomes it kind of so tramples. dull. It kind of tramples the yes, aroma. Yes, um, you know, kind of mutes it. Mm. I feel like it's only good for like shu <laughs> mm. Oh, 
I think this water, even with like a pu'er, even like a shu pu'er, those are less of a aromatic type of tea. It mm -hmm. would be still good because it really enhances the mouthfeel, the silkiness. Yeah. We're drinking the uh, shu pu'er with a bow glacier fall water. It actually, I think it makes the water, uh, the tea tastes a lot smooth and sm thick. Thick, yeah, and smoother, like rounder. But the liquor color didn't change. Sometimes over the mineral, uh, over the mineral spring water would make though the texture of the tea thick, but the liquor also gets dull and dark. This one doesn't uh, sacrifice the liquor color for this more rounded mouthfeel. I quite like it. Oh, I'm really excited. I wonder how the other two teas would be. That's what I'm wondering, the next water. In the next water, yes. Because it was, if I have the rivers right, it was really fast moving. But it was not for long. We were right at the glacier. At the foot of the fall, I think. Yeah, right I at the base of the falls. I have a picture of you. I super zoomed you right beside the raging water. I was like, mm. Mm, Yeah. Scary. I really love breathing out over this. Yes. It really got it really, really layered, like a potent aroma, layered mm. and present. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And lingering, still there. Mm -hmm. uh, now I totally agree with you with enhance. Yeah, at first one I wasn't like a full enhanced. I was like mm, pretty similar to what I'm tasting with a little mm. bit difference. A little long, wasn't really settled on the enhanced part. But now I'm like, mm, I feel that, I feel that pretty strongly actually. Mm. You're right though. You nailed it. It's really the balance of enough mineral to add to the thickness and the texture but not so much to trample and mute the aroma. And this mm, one and seems to have... really nicely with this yeah, tea. Yeah. Next one. Number two. What Number tea? two. Bow Glacier Fall Water. Last time we had that was when we were there and uh, was shooting the... Yeah. Tour I've... video. Shempuar, right? It was yeah. a really nice tea. So yeah, I haven't had this water since then. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to try it. It'll be interesting. We have a baseline now with the, with the Lake O'Hara mountaintop water. We'll see how the Bow, Bow Glacier Falls water does. This is really interesting. I, um, now between these two waters, when I tasted them, uh, just the plain water, I couldn't taste much. Very, very subtle difference, if any. So I'm curious to see how the tea will react and how I will react. Will I notice anything? Mm. Well, uh, we did the classic of tea and uh, in the mm. book, Lo Yu was really uh, point out that... Uh, adamant. He was quite adamant, right? Mm. About the, about the water. What's the adamant? Like firm, very ah. clear, uh, decisive about do not collect rushing water. It wasn't the bottom of the pile. Ah. Right? Might be a little bit over. It, <laughs> it, <laughs> Your word is threw me off. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, yes. Mm. He didn't, uh, he disapprove of rushing water. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. However, I don't think he ever seen glacier-ish water. Interesting. Where we are in China, that zone, I've never seen that until I was right. in Tibet or in right. the Rockies. So I don't know how that would apply in this mm. case, but... Mm. Um, nice aroma. You can smell a little bit intense, uh, like the brew intensity. Mm, mm. Doesn't have that same sweet floaty that the first infusion of the of the last water had mm -hmm. for me. And a little bit more. Uh, so the the tea. What I mean by smell more concentrated, uh, stronger brew is because I 
smell that uh, stone fruit mm. tartness that I didn't detect in previous. Right, right. And I found that that's an element I would have when I brew a rock tea a quite bit, a strong. Push it a little bit too hard. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh. Different, huh? Huh. I, I didn't expect that. I haven't found words for it yet. Oh, that's so interesting. You know, for me, it has a little bit more, the, um, the umami is actually popping a little more for me. Not sweet. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's more got a savory element almost. Yes, seaweed. Yes, umami. But I was using the umami <laughs> word because it doesn't sound as gross as <laughs> not I'm not a big fan to of seaweed. A lot of people. Yeah. But uh, for me, like, uh, seaweed is a neutral, <laughs> neutral word, it's not a negative word. Yeah, but we're on the same, we're getting the same notes, right? It's, yeah. it's much more savor, umami. Uh, the aroma is present. Ooh. Wow. I didn't expect that. Like this two water, when I had them side by side, I, I can say, okay, I can taste a little bit difference. What's the difference? I don't really know. Certainly I wouldn't have said it was savoriness or umami. Yeah, or, nothing right? like that. Mm. And this tea, quite different than the previous one. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more than I was expecting, especially since I didn't detect almost any difference between the waters. Um, certainly the third one really hit me differently. I'm waiting for a more balanced infusion to make any judgments about aroma. Though. I didn't hate my infusion. It's not because I, I didn't, I didn't hate it. I just need, we just need to. Yeah, I, and I didn't find that overly strong. No, it's it was okay. really good. Critics really are good. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I, I just personally didn't hate it. Was that too strong? No, no, I didn't oh. have any trouble with the infusion, but I want to, I want to make a comparison with the first one because mm -hmm. I'm noticing another pretty interesting difference that I'm going to comment on. And the smell on. is different. Mm -hmm. This is really. Mm -hmm. A little bit freaky of how different they could be. <laughs> oh wow! There's full, none of that grainy maltiness I know. here. Full confession: one of the reasons we didn't, at least for me, we didn't go with all the measurements side by side and stuff. Besides, it's a little bit complicated and extra work. Is because I have a preset. Like my mind is pretty sad that um, they're pretty similar water and the difference will be barely noticeable. That was my thought. So I was like, oh, don't even waste time to do those and mm. taste everything the same. But now I'm like, wow, mm -hmm. I'm really shocked. And um, even the moist leaf aroma is quite yes, different, huh? Yes. Mm. Like I Let me give some notes though. I, I talked about the that. previous notes, but I didn't. So this matches my tasting observation, I think. So where the first one had that grainy, malty, wet leaf, this one I'm actually just a little bit more muted and I'm also, let's see. For me is less floral, mm -hmm. less sweet. Uh, when I breathe over the tea too, I have less, it's less aromatic. I'm not getting as much, you know, when I hold the liquor in my mouth and breathe over the tea, like uh, Jen taught mm -hmm. me and the video, I'll put the link down below, but great tasting video. If you're always, if you're wondering, how do you get all those elements and notes? Mm -hmm. I used to wonder the same thing. So one of the tips, but check out the whole video, but one of the tips for me that's really important is hold the liquor in your mouth and breathe in and out over it. You really get those mm -hmm. aromatic notes. This one is more muted than the last one for me. Mm. The smell here. It's not gone though. It's really, it still has the creaminess. Mm. It's just not. And when you say muted, I just want to clear like for right. me, it is muted. Mm -hmm. It is quite mm -hmm. different than the previous one. It's not one. gone though. It's not like those heavy mineral water that is totally mute. Almost feel like a hitting a fist on a sandbag. Like, like right. you cannot have the, force there, right. which you feel like this tea has more uh, kick, should have more kick than that. But this one is still the whole, uh, the, the, the profile of how this notes are 
presented、mm. for me doesn't have that kind of feeling. It's crisp, it's clear. Right. I'm this type. There's no ambiguous like ambiguity. Ambi- ambiguity、mm. there. There's it's. It's different. It almost drove the. It almost drives the aroma. It it doesn't like sandbag it. It almost drives it into the liquor. It's still there. I still get it when I breathe over it.、Mm. Just not as high. It's not the high、mm. notes for me.、Mm. It's a tasty sip though. Yeah, like for、It's、me, they're、sip. different, not, and、yeah. they're not like this one is better or that one is better. They're just different. Yeah, I didn't have like a, a preference different, but if somebody like you say you love the sweet, you prefer a little. Yeah, I think、sweet. I think I preferred the first one. I、yeah? do have that sweet、okay. tooth. I do <laughs> like. I, and again, like you said, this、right. is not、um, this is not unpleasant, but I do think I like the first one a little bit better. And just from the lift, like、uh, when、How、the liquor the comes lid? out. Try a little. Try. When the liquor comes out of the.、Um, The guy one, I personally find the texture of the liquor is not as thick as the previous one.、Mm, just, just the look. In terms of the tasting, I didn't have much of a difference.、Mm. Feel it. Deeper, right? This is. So let me let me throw out some notes, right? It has that creaminess, that deep, cre- deep and high creaminess in my olfactory. Oh, nice! <laughs> I want yesterday, two days ago, I dream of that word in my, you know, in my dream. So I was like, I gotta use this word. Nice, nicely done. <laughs> For me, this one is is、um, again the the high florals are.、Uh, Seem to be more pushed into the liquor, but I'm getting more like a a sharper dark chocolate, a little bit more of the tart popping out in this one compared to the first one. There is some malted grain, some grain kind of flavor more than aroma in the、mm. liquor as well. It's almost like just a.、Uh, The、two water brings two different sides of the.、Tea. Really interesting, and the other one where I got a really the, the mineral element that we love in rock tea. The first water delivered that. This one, I'm not getting mineral. It's more like maybe tobacco, which I didn't get in the first one. I've got、mm, like that tobacco dark chocolate. Not as obvious as this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. This is almost like a cigar, a, a cigar, home、um, chambu.、Uh, Uh, rock tea, like a cigar rock tea. We're a little where, bit tea drunk. Where the first one, <laughs> yeah, the first one was、mm. more of a, like a standalone, or maybe a whiskey. I don't know.、Mm. You're right, I'm tea drunk. But it, it, in terms of the one being better, you're. I I preferred the first one, but I have to say I'm really enjoying the second one too. Yeah, that's funny because I prefer the second one. I always like a drier stuff. Hmm. Like a, yeah. Really chocolatey now. Dark, dark though. Like hundred percent. Think hundred percent. Okay, we're not talking milk chocolate at all. And this is just so comfy. Mmm, roasty comfy. Mmm. It's a weird tasting note, comfy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know though. With tea, I think comfy is something people totally get, even、mm. though it's not a flavor. You know,、mm. it does have that. I think I, I think, why I love it is because、mm. the clarity of notes. It's、mm. not saying they're separated; they're still well integrated. But the clarity of the message,、mm. like,、mm. the way of. The present does that make any sense? Probably not, but it's just I think it's like it's you、style. feel like it's more unified, more. No, it's just, clear. Okay. Not say tasting nose is no、clear. ambiguity. It's、yes. it's a clear presentation. Yes.、Mm. I'm getting a little more sweetness now on the third infusion, and then follows up with that little side of the tongue tartness. Really.、Um, Mm. I don't know. I might have to change my mind, but 
Really? Yeah, this is not to say that to, to say they're more or less equal, different experiences, but this is really pleasant. Right. Mm. Hmm. Wow, I am super excited for the final water now. Um, I, <laughs> what I, about the smokiness of that water? Yeah, I, I actually didn't like that water. So I'm curious oh, really? to see. No, it, it tasted like... Well, the, yeah, just a, a quick recap. You feel like the water is smoky, ashy. Ashy bit. now, it has no more... It, so when we first got it, right, it had that mm. smoky aroma right on the water. You could literally smell the water. Mm. Now you smell the water, it doesn't smell like anything. But when I tasted it, it was, for me, the first two, I could almost not detect a difference. The third one was a clear ash flavor. Subtle, you know, it's not yeah, like... No. Zero for me. And you didn't get I, that. I didn't get any of that ashy anything. All I could say is the third water tastes the most familiar to my tab water mm. or my Brita filtered tab water. We'll see how they go. Okay, this is the uh, Glacier Columbia. What was that? Columbia Ice Fields from the Athabasca right. Glacier collected just after the effects of uh, regional forest fires, actually not re not so close to that area, but all over BC mm. were really starting to have an effect on the sky mm. and the light and even the glacier was starting to have little black dots on it. Remember they were saying how yes. it, it actually yes. ac accelerates the melting of the glacier. Yeah, the day we visited, uh, we took a tour and that was very helpful. We learned a lot of things I would never learn. A lot about. of glacier science. Yeah. And uh, I remember that day, besides the thick clouds or, or smoke, it just mm. feels overcast. And uh, there's the, the glacier is not white or blue. It's with those uh, black ash. Yeah, it's got it. pepper. It's like peppery on the, on the white surface. Mm. And okay, I'm going to share them one of the fun facts that we learned at the glacier. That, that, that region, that, those glaciers are unique because it's a, I think they said it's a triple continental divide, which means the water from those glaciers ends up in three different oceans. The Pacific, the Atlantic, and the Arctic, which is pretty incredible. Mm. Now, back to the tasting. I'm super excited because I did not think I would notice a big uh, tasting difference between the first two waters, the Lake O'Hara water and the Bow River, the Bow Glacier Falls water. Mm -hmm. This water, I actually tasted the difference. So I'm not, I'm not sure what to expect. Will I taste a difference in the tea or will it actually kind of do a reversey and there won't be much difference? I don't know. I'm thinking it will be pretty different. I think it will be pretty different. Already? The smell feels... Well, I smell it. Yeah, yeah, let me have a little, let me have a little whiff. The smell is quite different. Mmm, quite nice. Uh, very nice. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. Back to that stoic, what I would call a classic rock tea aroma. It's got some mineral, some, some heavy meaty aroma. What can I give you besides mineral? Mineral. <laughs> besides mineral? Chocolatey. Mineral. Not overly chocolatey though. Grainy, multi-grain. Mm. But, but rock but, tea taste. Yeah, flavor. big. It's really but hard bold. to... Yeah. It wasn't like uh, the first one was a little bit more lofty and floral and uh, yeah. in a good way. This one was uh, like really like a, a bold rock tea aroma. Oh, wow. Oh. Really nice. Huh. More, How would you describe this? Well, compared to the second, the uh, Bow Glacier Falls water, the second one this we had... Much more lifting aroma, really lifting, and I found thicker. Ar aromatic, mm. not aromatic. The profile of the aroma is thicker, like a full body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Similar to the leaf we just experienced. Yes. Yeah. Like the meaty. Oh I literally, I feel like it's more meaty. <laughs> Oh, not reminding me of the, like a beef or stuff. You would think of those kind of really. Medicine. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I found it uh, similar to number two, Gla uh, Bow Glacier. Tongue. 
tart. Mm -hmm. I never had any tart before. Mm -hmm. I had a little bit of tart on number two, but it was that nice side tongue after late tart. Right. This one's tart out of the gate. It's, and and not, really not brutal. It stands out. Mm -hmm. It you stands know, out. The, the side of the tongue. The whole flavor profile is just fundamentally different. And it's going to yeah. take me a while to dissect this. <laughs> I'm shocked. Like it's. Uh, I was really. Even during the shooting break, when the water was boiling, we we're talking about how surprising this is. Mm. Yes, I didn't. I knew there would be some differences, but I thought it might be a real stretch to pick them out. It is. They're really. They're really. I'm so surprised how tart it is. My mm. first sip, mm. I sip a little bit less. It wasn't. I didn't pick up the tart, but the second. All the way till I finished this cup, it was just really like it's not just a tasting note, it's almost a sensation on the side of my tongue, the back of the side of yeah. my tongue. And this is so interesting. So, meaty is a great word in terms of the just the overall oomph, oomph of, the, uh, of the flavor profile just that's of this tea. Up. That's the feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And, but unlike the second one, where I really I found the, the, the aromas on the second one were more pushed into the liquor. This one has a nice combination of, of meaty texture in the liquor and still having some great aroma. So mm -hmm. it's interesting, but the flavor is fundamentally shifted as well. It doesn't have, I haven't been able to describe it yet, so bear with me on that one. Yeah. This is it shocking. This is really certain, shocking. Uh, aged, uh, uh, rock tea that I often describe that has that donkey meat flavor. Uh, <laughs> of course, you have to, you know, eat and like a donkey meat flavor, but it's that kind of meaty thing. It's, um... That's an interesting cultural reference. I don't know if a lot of people will get that, but there's a... So stay with us and we'll someday we'll tell you all about donkey meat flavor. Okay. It's not derogatory like you might think. Huh? Why would that be derogatory? Uh, it's just, I don't think it's something we're familiar with. Oh. But I'm not sure. Like okay. a, it's just a kind of meat, like a beef, but different kind of meat. Okay, okay. What do you, it smells quite different too, eh? Yeah, yeah. I'm having trouble putting my finger on how to actually share these differences yeah, with, yeah. The, uh, with the folks out there, though. I'm telling you what, I can't even, I know it's the same tea. I can't even believe it's the same tea. I agree. This is incredible. I, I never thought it would be so different. I still have the tartness there. Uh, yeah, the first thing, I it hit me hard, that tartness. Right? Like, uh, not, I have to say, straight up though, if these, if I didn't know what was going on and mm -hmm. these were three different teas, this is my least favorite for sure. Mm. In terms of the overall, what it's delivering me as a sensory experience mm. is, is not bad. Mm. If I had it in isolation, I wouldn't hate it at all. It's right. quite pleasant, but it, with the three lined up, it's going to be not my favorite. Um, but it's not bad. And I still, give me a minute. I want to really put a note mm. on it. It's hard mm. to put a note on this. Mm. So interesting. Simplified. This sip for me is overly simplified. It's mineral, mineral and mineral. Mm. It has the tartness, mm. but it's missing a lot of the, the added dimension and body that the other two brought me. This mm. one is really, it's, 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 a, it's lovely, but it's very simple. And this tea, I happen to know is not simple. It's a fantastically complex, mm. delightful tea. So I feel like the water has overly simplified the tea for me. Mm. But I'm still super stoked about how the impact of the water is really amazing. And there's not like these are from three different places in the world, right? 
I go, okay, yeah. they are from three <laughs> different places in the world, but I mean, they're not geographically super dispersed. They're in the same right. basic region. Right. Uh, yeah. But this also, is the most ancient water. <laughs> you're right. Remember you said about yes. a glacier. Mm -hmm, Honestly, mm -hmm. without learning those other place, I always think, oh, glacier is just a blue ice, you know, pretty ice and a lot of ice. Mm, mm. I didn't know their, you know, pressures. And Not the same as snow. Not yeah, at all. Yeah. Yeah. So. How interesting. I kind of agree with you in terms of among the three. This is my least uh, loving. I. I didn't feel like. But the aroma is not bad. It's so interesting. The aroma interesting. is really lovely. The aroma is really. Yes, it's still there. It's almost almost my favorite aroma. Right. It's certainly superior yeah. to the second one's aroma. Um, oh really? Yeah, the bow the bow glacier falls. The second water we had. I for me, I found the aroma was really kind of almost gone. Oh. The, the first one was quite lovely. You liked it though. You're right. Mm. I I like that sweet, lofty floral. Mm. <laughs> yeah. This is lopsided. Mm. I didn't feel like it's yes. simplified. I just feel like one element is already mm. uh, powerful. The other ones are just teasing me in the back. Mm. You know, so lopsided. In, that's a good. That's a good descriptor. In terms of, uh, do I like that tartness? I'm telling you straight. I love tea that give me the sensation of tartness. Mm. I don't like tea that give me the taste of tartness, which this tea has both. I can feel in the back of my tongue, in the center where the taste buds mm. are. It has that tartness taste. I'm personally not a big fan of. But the sensation on the side, at the, still at the back of the tongue, on the both sides, that sensation, almost like a uh, quenching, you know, it right. stimulates the uh, saliva. Mm -hmm. A little bit gross, but that's the effect. Yeah, but it feeling. gives you that refreshed feeling. Yeah, I love that. Old times when you have a tie guanyin, traditional tie guanyin, it has that and I love it. Mm. But... Um, I love the creaminess of mm. rock tea. It is not a oily, like a buttery creaminess. It's just like the, just the cream that has a thickening thing that make all that uh, uh, like dark chocolate or mineral, all those very sharp or very strippy mm. kind of tasting notes right. round up in a nice way. Yeah, it's unifying. Unifying, yeah. It's mm. almost like a, a, a a lovely personality that makes sure everything works together as a team kind right, of a, right. that kind of a creamy effect but I found it's lacking in this tea mm. you think it's because of the ash that pushed that more to the ashy mineral yeah the, the tobacco here tobacco, is really yeah. much more present mm. oh the smell is good I Could still be. love the smell Oh, that's really nice. That has a little bit of chocolatey sweetness coming back on the on the wet leaf. Mm. Well, obviously, people who purchase this tea and brew with their water would taste really different than what we taste here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, if you have tried this tea, and be sure to you know leave your comment or review or what you taste about this tea on the website. Yeah, we would love to hear, especially mm. if you've had a chance to try it with different waters. If you're a, a little bit nerdy like us, yeah, yeah. I know some of you are. Oh, this is so fun. Yeah, this makes me want to explore further because we, you know, probably a lot of you have this similar situation. You kind of get into your, your natural setting at home and you've got your water and you have your tea and you find out what works. But when you start to change the game a bit by switching the water, wow. I have to say, I really didn't, I knew it would be different. I just didn't know how much, especially, yeah. wow. Yeah. Mm. And like I was saying, we kind of, um, we kind of hammered this poor guy a little bit, but again, quite a pleasant set, quite a nice tea. Uh, it's just, if I compare them next to each yeah. other, a little bit yeah. less my favorite. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah. Interesting. This rule, this third rule for me is everything flat. It's still there, but it's a little bit not plain. It's rich in it is rich in all kinds of flavors and stuff, but they're not working together kind of thing. And everybody because of that become flatter. Right. You know. You know, like a uh, maybe a bad metaphor, but you know, like a certain music, like everybody's good, bass and drum, everybody's good. Just the song is uh -uh, kind of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm. The second one, the Bow Glacier Fall Water later infusion. I love the clarity in terms of the presentation of the notes, which mm. this one doesn't have. You know, it's not the tasting notes. Right. This flavor difference is the way it presents. It's the presentation. This yeah. one's more muddy, like muddled, kind of flattened, mixed up. Mm. Interesting. I'm so. What strikes me about this is all the 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 flavor of the tea versus the aroma of the tea with this liquor is like night and day. Like it's kind of interesting. The aroma is quite pleasant and bold, mm. and the flavor kind of doesn't quite match up. Right. It's interesting. So that was quite <laughs> amazing. Um, oh, let's bring everybody back. Right. Let's bring everybody back on the stage everybody for a round back. of applause. Mm. One, two, three. One, two, three. We taste the three uh, different waters brewed with the same tea. Eh? One, two, three. One, two, three. Sorry. Oh, that's how they are. Okay. Yeah. So I think the leaf amount is roughly similar. No, you did a great job. Up. You did a great job. I right? think your infusions were, were on point and the, uh, the leaf amount was great. Again, we didn't go super nerdy scientific. Mm -hmm. um, Could be other uh, factors to place in. But yeah, for sure. But um, Huge difference. Okay, so surprising. So yeah. surprising for me. Like, you wouldn't taste the water itself or feel that much of a difference. But with the tea, things got amplified. Yeah, it really did amplify it and it brought out very different characters each time around. So this is a game I think we will continue to play. It was super fun and it's mm. super, it really helped get, for me, it's nice to get out of the, your regular brewing environment and yeah. try something different and remember the importance of water. And we encourage you to do the mm. same thing. Have fun with the different water. What's your local water like? Or go out to find some brook or uh, you know, well water even. Maybe somewhere there's a fantastic well water that Lu Yu didn't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so if you like this video, guys, if you were hesitant to give it a thumb up right at the beginning or watch the whole thing and you liked it, give that thumb up button a click. Please. Click on subscribe and hit the notify bell so you'll know whenever we go live or post new videos. And until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping.